So what we have already discussed is the government works at three level, local, state and national. And we also saw a glimpse of local government work. Here we are going to see about the state government, means the government at the state level. And what place does it have in our democracy? What is the role of the MLA, that is member of legislative assembly and the ministers? So how do they express their demand? So we'll uh, talk through with uh, the help of say example like uh, health. So here whose responsibility is what? The two girls are talking that there is a water, water shortage and people are uh, getting sick and uh, there is uncleaned water and tanks are, streams have dried and uh, tanks are dried and there are various uh, problems which are arising because of that and people at the district headquarters, uh, this is a name of that uh, say town, this is Patalpuram, it is a place name, it only receives water once in three days, patients are too much in the district hospital and most of them have acute diarrhea. So what they saw in the TV is 10 people died of diarrhea. My mother has said, one of the girls says, my mother has said don't go uh, outside and drink anything, right? You have to be responsible for your health. So a uh, uh, police officer, women police officers, officers stopped them and they said that uh, there is a gherao uh, near the MLA's residence, so gherao of MLA's residence. So they didn't understand these are kids only. The opposition or the op the uh, leader of the opposition, he was actually taking uh, this lead of this gherao. MLA has to take the responsibility because of the health situation which is going beyond the control. So this is how the opposition uh, leader is there. So who is an MLA? MLA we read about uh, Patalpuram and you might be aware of the words like collector, medical officer, etc. But MLA and uh, legislative, legislative assembly, what, what these are? MLA of your area, do you know about that? Which party does he belong? So MLA is members of legislative assembly. So uh, MLAs are these and one MLA is member of member of these one of the member of the legislative assembly and they are elected by the people. So they become the member of legislative assembly and they also form the government. So MLA is representing people. So every state in India has a legislative assembly. Each state is divided into different areas or constituency we can call it. Here is an example of Himachal Pradesh. This is the area. So Himachal Pradesh for example is uh, say it is divided into uh, 68 constituen constituencies and these are the numbers being given. So we are taking an example of Himachal Pradesh 68 con uh, constituency and from each constituency people elect one representative and this is the one con constituency MLA and it can be from any party you know. Uh, from BJP, from Congress, from SP, BSP, any, any of the party because they belong to some party but they are certain who doesn't belong to a party. They are called independent. Now how do people who are MLAs, they become ministers and chief ministers. So the political party whose MLAs have won more than half the number of constituency, it is being said that they are in majority. This is what, how it goes. The political party which has the majority is called the ruling party. The other members apart from the this, these members who are the majority they are called the opposition. So majority that is the government and the opposition they both are very important. They are uh, both important for running of a smooth government and for democracy. So we have 68 MLA constituencies in Himachal. So how does it happen in the let us take a, a case study. In Himachal Pradesh in 2000, 
three, INC Congress got forty three seats, BJP got sixteen. Other parties uh, received three, or they were three MLAs of that, and independents were six. So in all, there were sixty eight. So what happened here is, candidates uh, for various political parties they won. Means this is not from single party. You know, most of the parties, whichever we are talking about, different number of MLAs were were uh, actually elected. So MLAs, because we see here that because this is sixty eight, so just divide it by two, it becomes thirty four. So you need at least thirty four plus to gain a majority. Here we have forty three MLAs of INC, that is Congress. So the others are. From different parties, so these forty-three MLAs will make make the majority, and it will be a ruling party. Others will be in the opposition. So after the elections, MLAs belonging to ruling party they elect their leader among the all the MLAs. They elect one leader, and this is he will be called as the chief minister. So uh, in two thousand three, the Congress Party MLA they chose Veer Bhadra Singh, Veer Bhadra Singh as their leader. and he became the chief minister now the chief minister now selects the minister his cabinet and the minister and after the election it is the governor governor of that state who appoints the chief minister and other minister now the chief minister and the minister they have the responsibility of running the government uh, departments and the ministries you can say so they have separate office what is the the legislative assembly it is a place where all mlas wherever from they are means from ruling party or opposition they discuss things they debate on things so some mlas they have dual responsibilities that is first is they are mla representing a constituency and then they are minister also so the head of the state is the governor and governor is appointed by the central government in order to ensure that the state government works within the rules and the regulation of the indian constitution so a debate was going on in the legislative assembly so these uh, you know kids we were talking about they went to legislative assembly they were checked and they were they went upstairs and there was a gallery and they could see what is going on there are rows of desks desks now the assembly was going to have a debate on the current issue or current problem mla can express at this time their opinions and they can ask question and also give suggestion what should be done and then the minister has to reply to these questions that in order to satisfy and and assure the assembly that they are taking adequate steps the chief minister and other minister they have to take the decision and they are running the government and we usually hear about various things through our media that is news channels and papers so whatever uh, decisions are being ta have uh, taken have to be approved by the legislative assembly so in a democracy members ask questions debate is important debate an important issue and decide where money should be spent so these mlas have the main authority now i'll just give you an example that here this this is a picture now here a debate session or session or a you can say legislative assembly session is going on and different mlas have different views and they are speaking and they are speaking they are debating so first mla is saying like this in his constituency that is his constituency you can name any that is akhand gaon in last 3 weeks 15 death were reported of diarrhea it's a shame what he is saying is like a simple problem like diarrhea is not even taken care of okay then the second mla he is saying that hospitals are in bad situation why are government not appointing uh, you know plenty full of doctors or required doctors and staff he is also pressing the situation that the staff is also lacking and this this uh, disease can be an epidemic it is spreading like this 
Then the third MLA, he says that my constituency, Tolpatti, has shortage of water. And women has to travel or they have to go 3 or 4 kilometers in order to get the water. There is no tanker supply. Right? This is, this is the question being asked by MLA 3 that wells and ponds are cleaned. How many of them are disinfected? Now the fourth MLA is maybe he is from the ruling party. So he is just saying that uh, colleagues, my colleagues are exaggerating the problem and we are doing everything. We are uh, cleaning the water tanks and we are distributing ORS. So they are doing what is possible at that time. Fifth MLA is saying, again by again uh, on the basis of hospitals. The hospital have no doctor or less doctor or medical staff. They are going on um, leave, long leave. ORS packets are also not being uh, distributed properly. The sixth MLA, again he is saying that opposition members are blaming us, blaming the government. The previous government did not pay attention to sanitation. Now it will take some time to clean the dark garbage which has been lying around for years. So he is pointing at the previous government. So this was a debate going on. Now the members were debating what action has to be taken. MLAs are together responsible for work of the government. So government means government refers to government departments and various ministers who are heading them. The overall head is the chief minister. So this is the executive part of the government. It is an executive part of the government. Government, And all the MLAs they gather in legislative assembly and this is called legislature. This is called legislature. So they are the people, they are the ones who authorize and supervise the work. So how does this uh, government work? This legislative assembly is, is not just the place to express opinions. In newspaper, TV channels also, you will see that uh, about government things are coming. In a democracy, there are different ways to express uh, views. You know, no, no, no one is stopping you. You can always raise your voice or you know, point your concern. So after this discussion, there was a press conference. Health Minister, large number of people from different newspapers, they attended. The minister and some government official, they were also present. And the minister explained everything what the government is doing, what action they are taking. After the reporters were asking questions and this, these may be dilute or these may be hard questions also. And they have to respond because this is how the government works. During the next week, the chief minister and the minister of health, they visited this Patalpuram district. They also went to the families who lost their life, visited the hospital and then the government announced a compensation for the families. Now this is uh, what came into the paper because there was a press conference and media people, they noted it down and then it was printed and it, it would have come surely in the television news channels also. So the chief minister also said that uh, sanitation is a concern but lack of clean drinking water is also a problem. So he has uh, constituted a high level inquiry committee who is going to see the needs of sanitation facility and he would also request the minister of public work to take care of the water supply, proper water supply. So what we saw here is the people who are in power, like the chief minister and minister, they have to take action. And how do they how do they do it? They do it through various departments, like the public works department, the agriculture department, health department, education department, and like that. And they need to answer, they have to answer the legislative assembly and convince people who are asking question what steps they have taken. And also they have because newspaper and media is also there. So they have to hold the press conference because they have to answer because they are being selected by or elected by people. They have to answer each one of uh, this, the stakeholder. 
and the government can also decide to make new laws regarding the sanitation and health facility for instance it will it can make compulsory that municipal corporation should ensure that there has to be adequate toilets in urban area health worker needs to be appointed the act of making law on certain issue is done by the legislative assembly so they are making laws also and the various government departments where the government people work or the government servant work they implement these law and the law for the entire country who makes it it is made in the parliament so in a democracy it is people who elect their representative mlas so people have the main authority the ruling party uh, then form the government and some members are appointed ministers the ministers are in charge of various de department of the government so whatever work is done by this de department has to be approved by the members of legislative assembly so in a democracy people organize meeting to raise their voice their opinions their suggestion and protest against the government if the things are not going the way they wanted so this is a simple uh, wall paper project so this will surely be taken care by the the you know teachers of yours and uh, here is a proper activity in which you will learn more about what we just discussed so here is here is a glossary means the words which are very important so what is a constituency this is an area from which all the voters living there they choose their representative for example it can be a panchayat ward or an area that chooses an mla what is majority this is a situation where more than half say it is 68 so it has to be more than 34 if 68 constituencies are there and 34 mlas of a particular party or you can say uh, gadbandhan means alliance if two party ally, uh, ally each other ally with each other with each other so they can also form the government so when more than half of the number in a group supports a decision or an idea this is called a simple majority what about the opposition these two both are the pillars so this refers to elected representative who are not member of the ruling party they also play an important role of questioning the government decision and action as well as they can raise new issues for consideration of the assembly press conference media a gathering of journalist from the media who are invited to hear about and they can ask question on a particular issue or any issue and then expected to report on this to the larger public 